magandang magandang kamalayan sa inyo lahat at narito na naman po ang ating klase or ating class KLASS uh, kung tawagin natin ay ang ating kamalayan learning alternative success system ako po ang inyong guro ang inyong teacher Tato Malay at uh, tayo po ay magkakaroon ng mga isang subject na very interesting I think this is going to be my first time to teach it although this is similar to the uh, to uh, some other subjects I actually started teaching in the my, in my past videos no? but anyway before I start talking about that I, I'd like to say uh, hello again to all of you I missed you I mean I, I think I did not go live last Sunday yeah oh major busy tayo so yan yung ating mga I would say um, mga hindi maiwasan no? kahit na nandito lang tayo sa bahay eh, marami pa tayong ibang ginagawa as a matter of fact uh, it's not because just because uh, we are just forced to be here in the house eh, we, cannot, we are not supposed to do anything as a matter of fact I have actually I'm doing a lot of things no? as, as, as I mean in terms of well um, marami household chores of course, uh, hindi may iwasan yun. Kailangan maglaba. <laughs> kailangan kailangan mamlansya. Hindi, sa bahay din ako nagpa-plansya ngayon. Wash and wear na lang ngayon. Uh, at uh, ito ay isang bagay na kailangan natin matutunan. Dahil uh, iba na ang klase ng panahon na meron tayo. No? Kung saan ay ito na yung kanya-kanyang kailangan matutong gumawa ng sarili. Ng sariling sikap. Eh, sa bagay, patagal lang akong ganyan. Um, wala kaming maid matagal na and not only that uh, nasanay na ako tumira mag-isa rin uh, anong tawag dito sa Amerika ganyan din ang naging buhay namin noon walang walang katulong kasi nga uh, syempre ano dyan uh, mahal so expected na you know yung, yung mga ibang kamag-anak mo hey, they will not do the dishes for you ikaw ang gagawa, ikaw maghuhugas para sa sarili mong kinainan. Ganon doon. So, wala problema. So, kaya natin mabuhay kahit saan. Anyway, to uh, now continue, I'd like to just say, uh, well, itong nangyayari ng mga takbo ng panahon. Actually, tumatakbo ba ang panahon? Para bang tumigil eh. Ha? Ang, ang talagang analysis natin dito ay tumigil ang panahon. And this is something that we have to now be aware of in terms of what we used to do. Tumigil lahat. So, ang talong dyan is, anong gagawin natin? Eh, yun nga, marami sa atin nawala ng trabaho. Marami sa ating hindi na pumapasok sa eskwelahan dahil tumigil din ang, uh, ang mga eskwelahan sa pag-operate. No? So, ang talong dyan is, uh, ano ba ang mangyayari? Ay, ay, uh, would like to discuss that at this point in time. What is the future that we see now? Is there a future? Ano ba talaga nakikita natin magandang mangyayari kung maganda man? Well, to people like me, uh, sa kamalayan kami, optimistic kami that there is a good future. Because primarily, we know that we create our future. We create our reality. So, Kung ano yung gusto namin mangyayari, yun ang mangyayari. Ah, eh kung ang gusto mo eh puro buhay kahirapan, eh nasa sa iyo yun. Ikaw ay uh, magkakaroon ng ganyang klaseng buhay. At huwag masisihin ang ibang tao. Huwag masisihin ang gobyerno. Huwag masisihin ang mga magulang mo or ang mga kamag-anak mo o mga kaibigan mo kung bakit ikaw ay nagkakaroon ng ganyang klaseng uh, 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 ano tawag dito na, na na struggle or suffering na? ikaw may kagagawa niyan hindi nila ginawa yan sa iyo so anything that happens to you is your own responsibility yan yung hindi tinuro sa atin kaya yan ang ating palagi kong nire-remind sa lahat na tayo ay we are experiencing the same things but we are not reacting the same way. Alright? Ah, maganda itong sinabi kong yan. Lahat tayo, we, we are experiencing this pandemic thing. 
lahat ng mga problema na nakikita natin, of course, we are aware of them and somehow we are, affect, we are affected. But, iba-iba ang reaction natin. Pwede kang magpadala sa negative vibes na umiiral. Well, of course, nandiyan talaga ang negativity because we can see all these problems that are happening worldwide especially what is happening in other parts like the US and the Brazil ha huh? ito ay talagang nakikita natin sa media no hindi natin maiiwasan yan but the the thing here is ano ang gagawin mo kung ginana na lang nakikita mo eh ano may mga gawa ka ba of course may mga mga gawa you can be one with them but again paano ka ikaw rin ang merong uh, magiging ano diyan eh uh, uh, ikaw ang maapektuhan din eh. and so it depends now on how you are going to be affected by it if you feel na para talagang kailangan eh uh, maging ano ka makiisa ka sa sa suffering ng iba no problem with that as a matter of fact we, we empathize huh? that's the word we empathize but again we have our own lives. Kaya tayo, itong nangyayari dito, no? we are exposed to the same virus. Ha? Wala tayong sasabihin mo exception. Wala, wala kang masasabi na eh, yung iba, swerte, yung iba, malas. Yung iba, may immunity. Lahat tayo, basically, are susceptible to this virus. But the, the thing here is, how come others don't get it? Others do. Yan ang tanong eh. Uh, so sabi mo, eh, they're healthy. Okay. Eh, bakit yung iba? Healthy nga. Doktor pa nga. Ha? Mga, may maraming alam about how to really keep themselves healthy in terms of what they studied. But they they actually got the, ano, no? Ito yung, kung ano yun. Uh, Ang importante kasi dito ngayon is for us to know that there is something that is not exactly being, uh, I would say, talked about even in media. Uh, lalo na sa media. Na kung saan ay ang palagi na lang sinasabi ay talagang puro kung ano nakikita nilang nangyayari, yun lang ang binobroadcast sila. Hindi na natin tinitignan yung how to avoid, if ever they can avoid. Kasi maybe they don't know. But here in Kamalayan, dito namin tinuturo that you can be immune in some ways. Uh, hindi ko sasabihin totally immune. As a matter of fact, I want to make a disclaimer here. I am not a doctor. I am not uh, in that profession. So I cannot really say or I, I will not tell you to believe everything that I tell you in terms of this this uh, crisis that we're experiencing now. Pero, meron kaming napag-aralan sa kamalayan na kung saan ay, yun nga, we, we have taken up uh, a subject or a course called metaphysics. And the word metaphysics, beyond, ang, ang ibig sabihin yan, beyond the physical, beyond the material. So, kumbaga, ito ngayon na nakikita natin dito, material yan, physical, Kami, we try to go beyond the physical. Spiritual, yes, maybe. But then, more than just being spiritual, we are aware of another kind of energy, another kind of force, another kind of frequency. Iyan ang tinuturo namin sa kamalayan, na hindi tinuturo sa media. That we can be aware of this kind of, I would say, immunity or power that we can really do to our to ourselves para lang talaga magkaroon tayo ng uh, I would say um, um, not exactly a barrier or a wall to uh, to uh, you know, um, to make the virus go away you know? it's going to be there as a matter of fact ito nga ang masakit na ma, ano, maisip eh. the virus will not I think, go away till next year or two years from now or maybe three years from now. Oh, granted, nandiyan na yan. 
So we had, you have now to accept the fact that we are now going to live in a COVID environment, in the COVID free, COVID-19 free. We are going to live in a COVID environment, COVID-19 environment. Kailangan matanggap na natin yan. Otherwise, we'll be paralyzed. Wala tayong gagawin. Wala tayong initiative to, to do what we can do now. Na, ano, maghihintay na lang tayo na mawala. Hindi mo mawala yan eh. At the rate it's going, it's not going to disappear. I mean, let's be aware of it. Tanggapin natin yan. The vaccines, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Uh, ang vaccine sa akin, okay, if, if there is already. But then again, if none, there's none, eh, ano gagawin natin? No? So talagang, um, we, we cannot say na we will just wait for whatever is uh, there to, to come up, to come later on, no? na para to make us safe. No? So, yan ay isang bagay na kailangan nating bigyan ng ano na, uh, acceptance. No? That it's going to be here with us. Now, bearing in mind that it is already going to be with us always. So, what are we going to do now? Can we still go out? Yes, of course. As long as you keep yourself, you know, face in terms of, uh, I'm safe in terms of having that face mask, all these uh, precautionary measures, no? But then again, as I've said, beyond that, you can still do something else. And this is, ito yung tinatawag natin uh, sa kamalayan because it is really our consciousness that creates our reality. We have now to really now concentrate on our consciousness now. Kailangan mag-evolve na tayo to a higher level. Kailangan mag-evolve na tayo to a, uh, uh, a different frequency na kung saan ay uh, hindi na tayo pwede dun sa dating tinadalagyan natin. Sa third dimensional level tayo, eh, yun nga yung puro suffering and puro puro ko niya, no? puro hinagpis, puro, puro sama ng loob, puro sakit ng ulo, puro kong. So, yan ay isang bagay na kailangan na nating ma-realize na we have that power. And for kamalayan, this is what we are teaching here. So, as a start, well, we have to educate people. Hindi nga ito tinuro sa eskwelahan. Eh. Yan ang parang, parang kakulangan. Kasi kung ito tinuro, wala tayong problema ngayon because we will have an empowered people to really combat this thing that is going on now. No? So ito yung isang bagay na kailangan na nating mapag-aralan. So that's why I put up this Kamalayan Lifelong Learning Center here on uh, on Facebook no? para lang talagang mabigyan kayo ng kaalaman or information because otherwise, where, we, where else... Will you get it from? Of course, nandiyan ang YouTube, nandiyan ang internet, nandiyan ang Google. You can always go there. But then again, as I've said, kailangan magtulong-tulungan na. Gawa lang tayo na sarili. I mean, when you say tulong-tulungan is on our own, we will have to do something that we can do na ako ang makakagawa. I will not depend on other people. I will not wait for other people to, to help me. As a matter of fact, uh, ako ngayon ay talagang all out dito. No? Uh, that's why ako talaga ay maingay. Talagang nanggugulo na in terms of yung uh, I would actually, hindi ko naman pinipilit na lahat ay maniwala. Pero ang gusto ko lang ay bigyan kayo ng pagkakataon to have an alternative thing to think about. Kasi lahat ng nakikita nyo ay para bang hopeless. Eh. So dito, binibigyan ko kayo ng pag-asa. Meron tayong pag-asa. Maganda. And that's why, dito nga, we have to really now concentrate on ourselves. We cannot concentrate on the outside. Yung outside, given na yan, nandiyan yan, ah, magulo, kung nakikita natin magulo, alright, so, okay. But, ang, ang the only way to really be able to come up with something na malagpasan natin ito is to develop our consciousness or our kamalayan. So, ito ang aking pakay talaga. And uh, it's through education. 
definitely, I am for education. But I don't believe in what the schools teach. Kasi, ang daming kulang. I came out from school, I finished college, or, yeah, tinap tinapos ko, actually, tinapos ko ang kolehiyo. Sa totoo lang, no? when, I, when I always mention that I did not graduate, it's true, I did not get a diploma. Why? Because the school kept me in school. Hindi nila ino-offer yung major subject score. Kasi, po konti lang daw kami sa klase. So, hindi pwedeng i-offer. So, kailangan maghintay. Eh, overstaying na ako ng two years ha, sa college. Iksabihin, ano, can I still wait for other people to enroll in the subject para lang ma-offer? Sabi ko nga, I took up other units and other courses para lang to compensate for the, the, the lack of the other units that are not being offered by my major course. Eh. Eh ba, sabi sa akin eh, ay hindi ka gagraduate ng, ano, ng, uh, ng may major. Sabi ko eh, bahala kayo sa buhay niyo. Basta ako, I think I finished everything. I will not just get the diploma, I will get my transcript. And so that's what I did. And so, I went out from school. And sabi ko, why, why would I stay long? I, I'm not learning anything new in the first place. <laughs> so sabi ko nga, doon ako nagkaroon ng... Uh, ibang klaseng pananaw when it comes to education because when I got out from ed from from school talaga nakita ko nga in the lack of the things that I had to be equipped with you know in terms of uh, what I should be using the skills totally I was inutil <laughs> wala bagsak ako sa mga entrance exam sa mga companies I applied for and so sabi ko my God, I have to do something about this again. And so what did I do? I re-educated myself. I did not read my, my old books or your textbooks. Ko, hindi ko binasa yan. I studied the newest books I could really learn from. I mean, most of them talagang ano, uh, yan ang minaster ko. And because of that, doon ko nakita, my God, sabi ko, eto dapat pala ang tinuturo sa eskwalahan. Hindi itong tinuturo ngayon ng mga subject o ng mga subject na kailangan daanan mo. Dahil, eh, sasabi kailangan magkaroon ka ng uh, philosophy 1, philosophy 2, philosophy, yan, 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 yan. Ang daming ganun, eh. 1, 2, 3, and 4, and And so, somehow, para bang, ano yan, para lang just to say na for kailangan yung 4 years mo, eh, matapos at kailangan maganda yung, uh, kung ka, well-rounded nga kung yung baga sa education mo. All right, I, well-rounded is a nice word. I mean, nice, nice to hear. Pero ang mas siguro ang aking kwan is holistic. Yeah. I would rather go for a, for a holistic education. And so this is exactly where I try to know. Oh yeah, sabi ni Alexa Winter, I don't feel like I belong in school either. So dito nga, I, I actually have this one. I thought actually I thought this in uh, yeah I, I thought this in school no? I mean uh, I was given the privilege to act, to learn about this particular subject uh, when I was already teaching and sabi kasi ito ituro mo ito ituturo ko ito sabi nung isang Professor, I mean, he wrote the book Self Mastery, si Dr. Uh, Ed Morato from uh, Asian Institute of Management. Sabi niya, I want to teach this in schools, but if I teach this and if, it is, if this will be taught in schools, I need to teach the professors also. And so the school agreed. So when we were taught self mastery, ang klase niya, combine mga sudyante na first year, first students plus kami mga professors ha? puro may P iba may PhD, iba kon pero we were, we were under one subject because we were trying to learn something new sabi namin sa okay, okay and that was what I am now trying to also include in my kamalayan uh, I would say I hate the word curriculum, but I think that's the word, no? 
curriculum niya. Alright, oh, Krisha Klim Kimbal, Kimban, is watching. He's my former student in Assumption. And so, yun nga, I'd like to now, alright, I would like to now touch on, I will not discuss it, ano, kasi this is a course, basically, so, if this is a course, four months ito, or three, or four months, kasi, di ba, in one semester, four months yan. Eh. So, there are seven types of learning, or seven kinds of learning in self-mastery. So, pahapya ko lang, para lang malaman ninyo na there is such a thing. That, kasi right now, what I want the education department, well, not only in the Philippines, but world, I mean, worldwide, no? global, is to change its curriculum. Baguhin na natin. Itong pandemic stopped everything already in terms of wala tayong ginagawa. I think we're not, I don't, I don't agree that we, we will allow the children to go back to school at this point in time. Ang gusto ko, gamitin natin itong period na ito, itong time na ito, uh, I don't know who would be able to hear me or listen to me at this point in time. Let's do something about the curriculum. I am not totally for abolishing the educational system in schools. Schools are really important until, yun nga, maituro natin yung tama. And so, siguro ngayon is the time to really change the curriculum. Ang dami nating kakulangan eh, in terms of what we did to our students. Eh. Alright. Our education failed students. That's why our education also had failed society. That's the sad fact there. Malungkot, pero that's exactly what I am uh, uh, ano, uh, I am seeing. No? We have failed the society because our education failed us. Kung baga, binagsak niya ang mga sudyante. Kaya bagsak din ang... Yeah, you can see naman how we are running our lives. No? I mean, not just our businesses or con- government or other institutions, but basically our personal lives is in ruins because we were not taught properly. And somehow, this is something that I am trying now to address. And so, ito nga, ang gusto kong maano ngayon, no? The seven types of learning. I will just go fast on this, but later on, I will offer this as a real subject already here in the, our uh, uh, class, no? uh, Kamalaya Lifelong Learning Center. The first type of, uh, first kind of learning is learning how to think. Learning how to think. Mag-isip, hindi mag-memorize. Ang tinuro sa atin, mag-memorize. Eh. You were not taught how to think. You were just told, you read this, memorize this, this is what will will what will come out in the test. So, pag hindi mo na-memorize yan, bagsa ka. That's how the educational system was. So, nag-ano lang tayo. We would just cram our our minds or our memories with, with some information na kung saan ang dami natin na ipasok after two days or three days na wala na lahat, nakalimutan. That's exactly what happened to us. We were just memorizing things. Na kung saan ay inisip lang natin na kailangan natin pag-aralan dahil ito ang bibigay sa exam. At doon tayo binigyan ng grade kung papasa tayo o hindi. Ha? Ang chinek sa atin, ang tinang sa atin yung memory natin, how good are you in memorizing? Yun lang yun eh. But to understand it was not actually emphasized ang in-emphasize sa atin was yung grade natin sa test yun yung masakit na reality we were not taught how to think so ano ang mga bagay-bagay when it comes to thinking uh, when you say you are, you are going to learn how to think you have to what be able to Ito yung mga bagay na kailangan nating uh, maintindihan eh. Because basically, uh, 
this is not taught in schools. Except ngayon, tinuturo itong self-mastery in schools like assumption. I don't know kung hanggang ngayon tinuturo pa rin ito. Kasi when I got out, I, I don't know who took, who took over my position in teaching this. Okay, learning how to think. Yeah, ito yung, we have to develop our analytical mind. Alright? Analytical, in terms of the left brain. Ngayon yung pa natin, yung left brain natin, na, ang ating binigyan ng uh, importansya sa educational system natin. So, we were taught how to analyze. Okay yun. Uh, analytical. Lalo na sa math. Well, of course, yun lang yun. Ang critical thinking was supposed to be taught. Kaya lang, chapsoy, or hindi na pa chapsoy, kulang. Why? Because you know, in critical thinking, talagang kailangan, you really have to question everything. Eh, many of the professors don't want to allow their students to question what they know or what they are talking about or what they are teaching. And so somehow, parang dun pa lang, eh, one-sided na. So there, were, there was no real critical thinking involved there. Maybe the process of critical thinking was taught, but to really think critically was not experienced by the students. Yeah. Except for us, when we taught it in self-mastery, we made sure that the students basically learned how to think critically. Now, the other side of the brain, yun ang hindi binigyan ng emphasis, except dun sa mga courses, like yun sabi nga ni, ni Alexa Winter, she's more artistic. Okay, being creative. Ah, yan, kailangan ituro yan. Creativity. That's another way of thinking. Ah, thinking creatively. And, ano pa? Well, when you say associative and uh, integrative and systemic, basically those are all parts of this uh, learning to think. You know? So, yan, we discuss natin yan in the future. So, ang dami, kailangan natin matutunan when it comes to thinking. Huh? Kung paano yung mga facts and figures and all the things that we can analyze, paano natin nagagamit yan in a practical way sa buhay natin. Dapat gano'n ang, ang tinuturo sa atin eh. Hindi, tinuruan ka ng algebra. Pero para masasabi na, oh, haano gagamit? Saan ko gagamitin yan? Saan ko ano yan? So basically, it was lost in terms of ano. So, ayan. Okay. Uh, marami tayong, uh, uh, as I've said, uh, learnings dito, no? And one of them is just that, learning how to think. And doon pala sa learning how to think, ang dami na yun eh. And so here, we have to now go also to the second one, learning how to intuit. When you say intuit, intuition, it's part of the mind. But it's not thinking. I was more intuitive than, in thinking, uh, than being a thinker. Sabi nga nila eh, Hindi ka nag-iisip? Hindi. Ano ginagawa mo? Wala. Kung ano yung pumapasok sa utak ko, yun ang sasabihin ko. Yun ang mga ko. Paano mo nalalaman na tama yung pano? Eh, malakas ang kutob ko eh. And so sabi niya, ano yan? Hulu-hulaan mo lang? Hindi. I am strong when it comes to intuition. Uh, paano mo nalaman yan? I don't know. Basta, basta develop ko yan kesa sa learning how to think because I was not taught how to think. So I, I learned how to intuit. And you learn how to intuit. Yan. Ngayon, sa self-mastery, tinuturo yan. Kasi in business, kailangan marunong ka dumiskarte. Hindi naman, ang business, magbe-business ka, hindi ka sigurado kung ano mangyayari dyan. Eh. Kutob mo lang yan, feel mo lang yan. Eh. May hunch ka lang dyan eh, na magkiklik itong business mo. Eh. So, katulad ko, when I was with the recording business, I wouldn't know kung mag-hit talaga ang isang kanta or isang singer. 
Sabi nila, bakit ang dami mo na-produce? Wala tulungan na mga celebrities na maging stars. Ewan ko. I mean, I just knew. <laughs> yun lang yun eh. Uh, uh, until re- lately, inanalyze ko nga. And I learned how I, I was able to use that kind of intuition sa trabaho ko. Kasi pag magaling ka dyan, you will be successful. Kasi tama palagi yung nagagawa mo. Eh. And somehow parang mas mataas ang average ko kaysa doon sa mga nag analyze ng mga kasabay ko. Eh. Ang sabi nila, ang dami nilang mga factors in to, con- to consider. Eh. Ang dami nilang mga basehan as to how to create a, a star, how to create a hit song. Ay, ako, basically, I work with my intuition. And it worked for me. Ganun lang yun. Eh. <laughs> so, ano itong kwan? gut feel? Yeah, gut feel. Ah, kaya nga ito, importante ito, tuturo dapat eh, sa eskwelahan eh. The art of guessing. Ah, it's not something like hulaan lang. There's an art to it. Kasi, marami kang ginagawang mga kwensya na. Like for example, marami kang options eh. So, huhulaan mo lahat. Anong option ang pwede? Even now, kunyari, ito nangyayari ngayon sa pandemic. Ang dami opportunities, ang dami options. Eh bakit isang option lang ang tinitignan natin? Bakit ang gusto lang natin, ibalik yung dating ginagawa natin? O yung mga dati natin trabaho, eh yung pa rin ang gusto natin gawin. And when in fact, ang dami naman pwede natin gawin ngayon. It's just that, you know, we have to now find out why, what we can do. Hindi yung pwedeng, eh wala na nga eh, pipilitin mong buhayin yung patay. Eh, namatay na eh. eh. Bakit hindi mo matanggap na patay na yan? Yan ang importante nating ginagawa ngayon. What can we create now? What kind of a new thing that we can really now rely on that can really turn into profit later on? Bakit hindi? Lahat yan nagsisimula sa mga pangarap. Lahat yan nagsisimula sa mga uh, ano tawag dito, yung mga feel lang nila na, ay, ito gusto ko eh. Ayan. So, ayan. So, dito, tinuturo naman yung how to you really use the, the kumbaga parang six sense ito. Eh. Kasi, when I taught this to my students, remote viewing and remote sensing. And remote viewing is, I have two, two students side by side. They don't know much about each other. Hindi nila kilala ang personal lives ng bawat isa. And somehow, ito yung ang pinagagawa ko sa kanila. You go to each other's home. Ha? Yung bahay nila. Hindi pa nila napupuntahan yon. Hindi pa nila, they don't know where, kung saan man yung bahay nila na pinanghuhulaan ko sa kanila, yung kapartner nila. Kasi pag kadag-partner ko sila, at random yun. No? So, walang friends na close. So, hindi pa sila napunta sa bawat bahay. Sabi ko, okay, let, you have to now uh, concentrate. You have to find out exactly how the house of your friend or your classmate looks like. Go to her house without going there physically. And so, taka sila, paano? Basta concentrate, meditate. And what you will see now in your mind, describe it. Alam nyo, 90%, no, 95% na kukuha nila. And somehow, doon sila nasa shock eh. Sabi niya, Sir, paano namin nahuhulaan? Bakit ganun eksakto kung ano yung sofa, anong kulay, saan nakapwesto, anong ilang room sa doon, anong nandoon sa kwarto, anong meron doon sa sala, anong design nung, anong kulay nung walls, kung may garden, anong kulay ng gate, nahulaan nila. Perfect. See, that is exactly what we do. What that is a, that is our power. We have that, and you have to develop that. And problem, hindi tinuturo sa school ay ane, except kami lang noon when we started to teach self mastery. So sabi nila, oh, kailangan natin ito. And so sabi ko, kailangan talaga, kailangan maturo yung tama. And so yun, so remote sensing, uh, remote viewing. Or remote sensing naman is when nga, I, I actually would ask one one girl to come up sa front ng class 
and I would get her her cell phone. Sabi ko, oy, you turn around, don't look back. I will give your cell phone to one of your classmates uh, at random, and then I'll make you look for it. I will not tell you why. Your classmates will not give any hint, but you will find it using your intuition. And so, that's what they did. Pagtalikod, when I said, okay, turn around, look for your cell phone. So, yung binigyan ko na cell phone, nasabi ko sa kanila, don't actually give any hint na nasa iyo. Kunyari, dead ba ka lang. So, yun, ganun. And, all the time, the students were able to guess. Eh, imagine, ilan sila doon, kung 30 students yun, or 20 students, among, uh, only one among those 30 students has a cell phone. And, nakukuha niya, kung sino yung, nakanino yung cell phone. And so, how did she do it? Using her intuition. And it can be taught. Ang dami ngayon. Ang tinuturo kasi, ano lang eh, kung ano yung nandiyan, that can be measured eh. Kasi sabi nila, eh kasi this thing cannot be measured eh. Kaya it cannot be taught eh. Wala kayong pakialam kung ayaw niyo measuring yan. Alright. Okay. Alright. So, ito na yung mga bagay na kailangan natin talagang bigyan na ng panahon. So, ito na yung mga tinuturo natin mga uh, kung na. Uh, importante. So, intuition. No? So, sa self, now the thing here is, Learning how to feel is another one. Ah, ando na tayo sa learning how to think, learning how to intuit, learning how to feel. How are we able you know, to manage our emotions? Ah, a lot of times, we cannot manage our emotions. A lot of times, nagwawala tayo, bigla tayong out of control. And so, this is exactly pagbagsak ka dito, bagsak ang EQ mo, sabi nga, hindi ka nakukunin ng uh, kwan. And many of my friends really failed in this test when it comes to, ano, that's why they were not promoted, they couldn't get promoted because bagsak sila sa EQ. Mataas ang IQ, they were intelligent, very intelligent, pero mababa ang EQ. So, nobody wanted to work with them. So, they either got fired or nandun lang sila sa presa nila hindi sila na po-promote. Those who are promoted are those who are high in EQ. And that's why, because a lot of th- these people really know exactly who they are. Kasi in, in learning how to feel, you really get to study who you are, self-awareness, everything about you, how you feel, how you actually look at things. Somehow, parang diyan mo nakikita ang, ang nangyayari sa, sa pagkatao mo. And this is the thing that gives you direction. Kasi kung hindi mo alam kung anong gusto mo, hindi mo alam kung anong magpapasaya sa'yo, hindi mo alam kung ano yung mga magagandang bagay na uh, kaya mong uh, makreate, eh somehow, walang mangyayari sa buhay mo. And so, if you are able to now master how you feel about yourself, you're happy about being you, uh, you can do wonders with so many things. Kung galit ka sa mundo, dahil galit ka sa sarili mo, eh walang mangyayari. Pu- kaaway mo lahat. Walang, walang makikasama sa'yo. And this is something that is the least now that is needed in this particular time. Kasi right now, sa kabupunta ngayon, you just have to follow everyone na makakaalun natin ngayon. Kasi we're playing by the, ru- the rules na yun. I mean, uh, we are not exactly that free to go around at this point in time because uh, meron tayong mga uh, sinusundan ng mga procedures no? at this uh, ano, predicament that we're experiencing. So, pag hindi mo na-control ng sarili mo, magwawala ka. Ang dami natin nakikita sa TV niyan, no? Nag-aaway, ay iba, uh, ano na, nade-depress na lang. And so, this is now the time to really know how to really look at our feelings oh? because otherwise the moment we feel depressed the fear, we feel disappointed frustrated eh ito na yung mga talagang mga sisira sa iyo and you will just be paralyzed wala nang wala nang uusad sa mundo mo 
you will just be attracting all the negative things in your life. Yeah. So, ayan ang mga bagay na kailangan nating maintindihan. So, learning how to feel. So, awareness, mastering our adverse emotions. Uh, um, yung intrapersonal. This is what I call, uh, there are, sabi ko nga, I, I developed two kinds of intelligences in my life. Intrapersonal intelligence and interpersonal intelligence. And bak, paano ko na-develop yung intrapersonal? By being able to know who I am. Uh, lahat ng bagay na ako, I, I, I try to find out my personality, kung ano man yung personality ko, bilit ko ng importansya yan. Although I can change my personality from time to time, pero at that particular moment, I had to find out where, where, where I was so, so that I would know which ones I would like to change in myself, in my, in my, my, ano, uh, in my, um, uh, uh, in my psych, lalo na sa attitude ko, if I have attitude problems. And most of the time, a lot of us have, have attitude problems. So, pag hindi mo na ayos yan, eh, talagang wala. Mang, wala mangyayari sa buhay mo. You will just be complaining and uh, uh, you just get frustrated with life. So, yan. Yan ang mangyayari yung call mo. Hi, uh, Rhoda Ann Guzman is watching. Okay. So, learning how to feel. And the next one that we teach in self-mastery is, I think this is the fourth one or the fifth one now, learning to do. Ano yung learning to do? Kasi, many times in school, ang ginawa sa atin is you have to study all these things, lahat ng subjects na binigay sa atin, so that you will become, or you will do this. You will do this kind of work in the future. We were not actually taught how to be. We were taught what to do. And most of the things that were taught to us were you know, related to our course, ko ano man yung course na yun. So, we were not human beings. We were, there were our schools of work, I would school, our schools created not human beings, but human, human doings. Hindi ba pag nakikita kita mga, ta, mga magkakaibigan o mga friends, so, uh, normally, ang, hindi naman tinatanong, how are you? You will, well, siguro, how are you? Panglabas lang yun, pang unang kwan. Pero ang, ang mas importante yung tanong nila is, what do you do? How, anong ginagawa mo? Anong trabaho mo? Ano ka na ngayon? Ayun, ano lang ngayon ang ginagawa mo? Ayun ang importante yung gina, uh, inaanuhan natin, ka, binibigyan natin importansya. What are you doing? So, of course, it's importa- import- importante rin yan. So, we have to learn how to do. But do you know how, I mean, do you know how to do? Or do you, do you know what to learn, how to do? <laughs> Good no? Because there are three parts in doing. Huh? Okay, ano ba ang kwan? There are uh, three different stages in doing. Learning, there are three learnings that we have to learn while doing. Because, yeah, we are doing something, but what are we learning while doing those things? We have to learn. So, what are we learning? Learning before doing. What will you learn before actually doing something? Learning while doing. Uh, and, er- and then, learning after doing. So, yun, tatlong yun. Learning before doing, learning while doing, and learning after doing. So, what is that? Kapag ikaw may kinagawa, matapos na, i-assess yan. Ano nangyari sa iyo, Dan? Anong ginawa mo? Paano ka naging successful dyan? O bakit pumalpak ka? So, yun nga, learning before doing. Anong ginawa mo? Anong plano mo? Anong ginawa mo mga uh, pag, pag, uh, isip sa pagplano? Uh, so, yun, doon pa lang, makikita mo na, na okay, ito yung mga ginawa namin. You know, I used to give this as an exercise to my students. Eh. I, I gave them this kind of uh, a, uh, a work, uh, workshop. Or parang 
Uh, ako nila yun. Uh, field, field work nila. Pinapunta ko sila sa ano? Sa labas. I don't care kung pupunta kayo, sabi ko nga, I don't care what, kung pupunta kayo sa sa um, ano ito, sa Santa Rosa, yung Enchanted Kingdom. I don't care kung pupunta kayo sa mall, kung mag-skating kayo, o mag-wall climbing kayo, whatever activity. Basta, I told them to do something. May activity silang gagawin. Pero I never told them exactly where to go. Bahala kayo. Pero you give me an assessment as to what you have learned while doing that activity. So I want to see the th- three stages there. Learning before doing, learning while doing, and learning after doing. And so, yung iba, they went to Enchanted Kingdom. Anong ginawa nila sa Enchanted Kingdom? Siyempre, puro recreation yon, Puro uh, mga rides. So, so yeah, ano yung mga nangyari? Iba, sumakay sa roller coaster. Yun ang activity nila, sasakay sa roller coaster. Alright. So, ang talong dyan is, ano ma- anong natutunan mo kung pagsakay mo sa roller coaster? Alright. But before riding the roller coaster, what were your learnings? In learning, kasi pa, planuhin nyo. Nasakay kayo sa, pupunta kayo. Unang-una, pupunta kayo sa Enchanted Kingdom. So, ano ang kailangan nyo gawin? Sa kayo magkikita-kita. So, yan ang mga gano'n. No? So, all those things, they have to plan. And they have to learn through their experiences. So, ganyan. Kasi kailangan experiential. Eh. Hindi pwedeng theoretical. Eh. So, ito na yun. So, they went to Enchanted Kingdom. Yan nga. But before entering the gate, they had already planned. Of course, they had to have money. Kasi, gagasto sila sa loob. So, kailangan, they had to be prepared. So, yun ang mga kailangan nila matutunan na kailangan nila to be prepared in those, with those things. So, yun ang mga bagay na ko nila. And so, ano nga, ito na, sumakay na sila sa roller coaster. Binivideo na yan, ha? Actually, lahat yung activity sila from, from the preparatory, from the before doing it, they were already uh, uh, ano, uh, putting it on video. Lahat yan, dinodocument nila. So, ang ganda. Maganda yung kon. And so, ito na yun. Nung sumakay na sila sa roller coaster, yun, may nakita sila, sumakay. Okay. So, yun, nagsisigawan, nag-scream. Alright. So, natakot. All those things. Alright. So, after that, so, while, while they were there, be aware of what was happening to you. What were you learning about yourself? Ah, lakas lang loob ko pala, kaya ko pala. So at least, now you know. So those are the kinds of learning that we have to now learn talaga. Hindi yung puro textbook kwan. May tinuro sa atin sa eskwala, puro ano eh. So you have now to learn your, through your experiences. So nung nakita nila, nakayaanan pala. Yung iba naman, ay ayaw ko na, hindi na ako sasakay dyan. So bakit? Eh, basta. Kinabahan ako. Anyway, so, nandun yung learning niya. Bakit, eh, tag, eh, ano mo dyan, bakit ka kinabahan? Sulat mo. Or, i-document mo rin. And then, uh, so, yun yung learning while doing. And then, they had to assess the entire activity that they went through. And so, they had to already, uh, ano, discuss among themselves. I mean, on document, eh, on video, you know, document kasi, what they have learned after the whole process. And so that's exactly what you, what I'm saying about learning to do. Because we are supposed to be doing a lot of things, but what are we learning out of those doingness? Yan. Okay, I hope I made myself clear. Ayoko sana nang i-elaborate kasi ang dami pa ito eh. Alright, learning to communicate. That's another learning. Of course, learning is a two-way street, no? But there are a lot of communication skills that we have to learn. I will not discuss that today. Marami yan. Later on, as we go along that self-mastery course, we will really dwell on it one by one. As I've said, this is a four-month, uh, one-semester course. Hindi eh. ito one-day course. All right. So, yeah. So, learning how to communicate, the different styles of communication. So, we have to learn exactly what goes on in, in terms of how we communicate. We have the sender, we have the receiver, but along the way, we had some obstacles, we had some nuances. 
So we have to be aware. We have to be aware of those things. So anyway, so I will not discuss that. The next one is learning how to lead. There is a difference between leading and managing. Many times, akala nila magkaparehon. Hindi. A manager is just someone who actually, uh, uh, you know, parabang tries to keep things in order. But a leader actually does something else. Uh, so, ito yung mga qualities of a leader that we would discuss. Uh, 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 what it entails to be a leader. Uh, hindi pwedeng sasabihin mo eh leader ka pero uh, hindi mo alam kung ano yung mga kailangan na meron ka as a leader ha huh? yun yung importante so yeah that's another learning learning how okay let's uh, go back again to the first one learning how to ano yung una natin learning how to learn ah uh, learning how to think learning how to to intuit, learning how to feel, learning how to do, learning how to to communicate, and learning how to lead. And the last one is learning how to be by discovering how, you know, how, ito, ito yung beingness, sabi nga natin. Ito ang beingness na kailangan natin maintindihan. Kasi ito, hindi tinuturo sa eskwalahan nito. We were not taught how to be. We were taught how to do, not how to be. And so, this is uh, learning how to be. This is where we discover how beautiful para the world is. Kahit na may pandemic, maganda pa rin ito. And we discover this world through five W's. Uh, yung five W's na natawag natin. Wonderment, worldview, wisdom, and the way of spirit. So, all those things we discuss. And we experience, uh, hindi ito discussion lang. This is not theoretical. This, these are all experiential. So, these are things that are being taught in self-mastery. Pag ito na experience mo na lahat, you learn all these kinds of learning, you can say that you have mastered yourself. There's nothing to memorize here. There's nothing to really now say, I have to read all these things. Ito, this is all experiential. Ang ganda. Pag ito na ituro nyo sa mga anak nyo, tapos na educational ano nila. They can do already. They, are, they can go on their own already. Pwede na sila mabuhay. Because remember, education does not end in school. Ah, there's no graduation. We're not talking of any graduates in school or from school, or from education. This is a lifelong learning thing. So up to the time we get old, we'll still learn. We'll still continue studying. We cannot say, we have uh, learned a lot already, and I don't want to learn anymore, anything. Look, before this pandemic happened, a lot of changes already had been happening in our world. At ang dami nga lang nagre-reklamo na ang sabi nga ng iba, ang bilis ng pagbabago ng mundo. Bakit ganun? Eh, hindi nga eh. Ang bilis ng pagbabago. Pero ikaw, hindi ka nagbabago. Hindi ka sumasabay sa pagbabago. Dahil kung ano yung alam mo, hindi na applicable dito sa mga nang, nangyayaring pagbabago. Hindi ka nag-aaral ng mga bagong kailangan matutunan. And so, this is exactly what we're trying to tell our people now. We have to be able to be adaptable at all times. Uh, we have to be able to adapt, be adaptable to change. We cannot plan for one year now. We cannot plan for four years as to what we want to do or kung sa business yan. Yung sasabihin mo, what is our two year, two years ago or two year goal or five year goal or five years goal, whatever. Hindi na pwede yan. A lot of times, uh, one week after, bigla nagbabago ang, ang nangyayari sa mundo. So we have to adapt. We have to now do a different strategy. Now the thing here is, how can you be adaptable? Well, you know nga, if you are able to, to be a master of yourself, you can really be that adaptable. Yan ang importante na kailangan nating 
maintindihan. Technology has already uh, overtaken us in terms of what we know. Mas marami na alam ang computers kaysa sa atin in doing things. Kaya nga, marami sa mga trabaho ngayon can be taken over by computers, by machines. Hindi na kailangan ng to hire a, a, a new employee. Because basically, this is not anymore uh, matu- uh, 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 ano, uh, practical. Kasi mas, mas mura kung yun nga, gagamitin mo na yung machines or yung computers or yung AI na tawagan natin. But now, we have already developed that AI, the technology, in terms of being able now to really see uh, how things can really go uh, beyond the, the ordinary. Huh? Uh, technology has surpassed our expectations already. We have sent man to the moon. We have already all this internet that can bring us whatever need information we need. So basically, it's here. Now, what do we do with this technology? Hindi na natin sasabihin na mak- yun na nga, iba natatakot eh. Kasi sabi nila, it might just overtake uh, in terms of how we run our lives. Yes, if we, if we allow it. That's why ako, I, I, I don't allow it. Ang, ang aking tinuturo is yun nga yung AI sa akin sa kamalayan it's not AI it's I am I am consciousness kasi yung I am consciousness is the one that actually runs AI ha? kaya nga yung bagong logo ko ng kamalayan I am kamalayan movement it's yung I am nandun sa ano although yun nga hindi natin pa naituturo yan ng maayos sa eskwelahan but you know, the I am is the thing. What do you do? What you whatever you do with that I am will happen to you, or will actually dictate the course of your life. So important is what we do with the I am because that is the most powerful thing, or yeah, that's the most powerful thing that we are now. Um, entitled to have uh, at kamalayan because remember we are creators if the computers can do these things say who created these computers tayo naman yan eh. tayo nagprogram yan eh. so we can really create all whatever we want to create pa further and ang tanong dyan is what can we now in terms of uh, this pandemic thing do so Ito na. We have to now be able to use our I am properly, our consciousness. Yan. So before I continue further, I'd like to say hi first to a lot of people. Uh, I'd like to say hi to Tan Rahai or Rajay. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Lance Edward is watching. Lance, Lance Edward. Lance um, Lance Ramil Vela is watching as well. Remo Moraleda is watching also. Jovencio Aguilar. Sandro Sobel. Hi. Hello. Alexio Winter. All right. Bong Santos. Jonas Diaz. Joanna Bernard. Lucerna. Lucerna. All right. And Alexa Winter. Krisha Lim Kimban. Ito si Risha Lim Kiban, nasa Middle East na yata ito. Jog, ah, si Jogra de la Torre is watching. Alright, meron tayong mga messages dito. Let's read. Sabi ni Alexa Winter, both of my parents were doctors and they were forcing me to do the same. But I stood up for myself. I became what I wanted to do in life. More in spiritual path in my life. All right, very good. Congratulations. All right, so Crystal De Leon Tapayan is watching also. Now, Remo Moraleda said, now that we aged, intuiting is getting stronger. All right, kasi di ba tayo distracted by the shallowness of materialism 
and consumerism. Oh, that's true. Yeah, well, totoo yan. And Rhoda Ann Guzman is watching. Manuel San Mateo, hello. And Tess Luis from uh, California. Nasaan na kayo dyan? Ron Fabs. Nelan Herrera is watching as well. Okay, thank you, Nelan. Okay, so. All right, so. Okay. All right, ano ba ito? Ang dami kong messages, pero bakit ba ako napunta sa ibang... Uh, napunta ako sa messenger. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's go back to our... Um, so, I have discussed a lot of things. Uh, self-mastery. Those are the seven kinds of learning that we really have to teach our children. Even us, who have graduated already. This is the time now to learn all these things. We never learned this in school. So, dito sa Kamalayan, sa Lifelong Learning Center, we will teach that. As a matter of fact, watch out. Later on, I will actually discuss kung ano talaga yung mga mangyayari sa ating eskwalahan. No? Because uh, talagang things are happening now sa ating uh, um, kwan, sa ginagawa natin na maayos. Uh, people are really helping us and in terms of, well, we are creating this website where we can really address all your needs in terms of what we can give you sa ating mga tinuturo sa kamalayan. So, if you have questions, let me know. No? All right. So, we'll continue. Now, the thing is, ano ba mga kailangan pa natin talaga matutunan? Aside from what I mentioned earlier, well, the skills that we need now to have, this is not only for, for children, for students. Lahat tayo ngayon are students because we are students for life. Lifelong learning to. The pandemic thing already told us. Uh, this brought us into this kind of a reality that we need to learn a lot of new things now. Because the old things that we learned will not suffice for the needs of the of, of our future needs. Wala. Kulang na. Or for that matter, hindi na relevant. O hindi na pwede. So we really have to learn a lot of things. Hi, Bongo Ferrara and Kamusta na. So this is where now we are now teaching talagang people to learn the right things. Hindi na yung tinuturo sa eskwelahan na all the other subjects na pinag-aksaya ng panahon. That's why nga, itong nangyayari ngayon, huwag na muna natin pabalikin ng mga bata sa eskwelahan. Let's stop school. Let's concentrate on the change of curriculum. Let's cut the curriculum in half. I, I, I suggest it's just a waste of time eh, for us. Ako, I wasted how many years? Six years? or Five years in school, in college. Learning nothing. All I, I, all I really learned in school, I learned it in my elementary days. I learned it, well, I mean, well, well, what were those? I learned how to read, how to write, how to, to count, how to, I don't know, how to walk. <laughs> you know, yun lang yun eh, reading, writing, arithmetic eh. Yun lang important eh, tinuro eh, na kailangan natin matutunan talaga. The others, I learned but for myself. Kasi I never went to school to really learn what they were teaching. I mean, yes, I tried to, to study for the exam. Kasi importante, ipas ako eh. And so I, I, would do, I would cram. And kung ano yung kailangan kong pag-aralan, ngayon na talaga may memorizing ko. Because yun ang kailangan makita lang teacher sa test. And so, Yes, ang dami kong nakram, ang dami kong nailagay, pero after three days, oh, wala na. And so, after some years out from school, totally, nothing was left from my schooling. Doon ko na-realize, wala talaga akong natutunan. That's why I have accepted, I mean, I mean not accepted, but I made it my advocacy to really make people aware that we have to make these changes 
in our curriculum. Ano yung mga importante yung kailangan na natin isama? Creativity. A lot of creativity. Kailangan nandiyan. Yan nga, sabi nga ni Nelan Herrera, where we wish we have a school where we teach what are essential in life. Exactly. Ito na nga yung ginagawa kong panawagan eh. Na sana, bigyan ng pansin itong mga pinag-uusapan natin dito. Na ito na lang ay turo eh. Huwag na natin pahabain yung yung kwan. As a matter of fact, sabi ko, if you want your teacher, I mean, eto, medyo negative ang suggestion ko. No? Magagalit sa akin ang mga karamihan dito. Dahil, uh, it's, it's not something uh, sasabihin na, ano yan, parang tinuturo mo pang masalo silang walang mangyayari. Actually, hindi. Ako, for that, for this time, partic- this particular time, I, I cannot see the relevance of school now. I would rather teach young people now to learn how to use the internet, how to use the Google, how to use Google and YouTube properly. Nandun lahat ang mga magagaling na teachers na pwede mong maka, makaroon ng mga magagandang learning. You can choose whatever thing that you want to learn now. Wala kang uh, sabi mo, walang grades dito. Walang bab- magbabagsak sa'yo. Whatever th- whatever you want to learn, tr- do go. Go ahead and try to learn them. And this is, look at this time. Ha. Ito na eh. Ito mga bata ngayon. Pinanganak ito at this point na saan technology already had been advanced in terms of the development. And these young children, bigyan mo ng gadget. Walang manual, ha? Bigyan mo ng gadget. Mau-operate nila. Ay yung mga matatanda, ha? Nakatulad namin. Bigyan mo ng gadget. Bigyan mo ng manual. Hindi ba nila malaman ko paano ma-operate? I, I admit, I'm one of them. I need help. I, I, I usually would go to my nephews and nieces to help me out with my gadgets, with my laptop, with my tablet with my cell phones. Pero sila, para bang, ano eh, five years old niya, alam na, alam na kung paano ako. So, this is their, ano, kumbaga they're born with it. Or maybe, yung, nung bago pa sila pang anak, alam na nila na second, ano na sa kanila itong, sec, uh, uh, part of their nature already is that kind of how to use technology. Ayan na yung kanila. Kung baga tayo noon, eh, books, eh, eto ngayon, sa kanila, technology. So, we give it to them. We should give it to them. Ayan na yung kanila. Huwag na natin ituro sa kanila yung mga natu- yung dinaanan natin. Pasay na yun eh. Ah, hindi na yun uso. Ah, wala nang silbi yun. Kung ano yun nandyan ngayon, that can really be of help to these young kids now. And we just have to guide them properly. Turuan mo lang yan. Or, huwag mo na nga turuan eh. Ay, hayaan mo lang. I-guide mo na lang kung ano yung gusto nila. Sabi mo, oh, what do you want to do? Oh, sige, you can search on this. You can do this. You can go. Sige, learn this, learn that. Oh, sige. Pag na-discover nila kung ano yung gusto nila, sabi nila, I don't like that. Okay, what else do you want to learn? What else do you want to know? Oh, so, kasi it's always a trial, trial and error. In school kasi, we were not allowed to fail kasi failure was not an option in school. Failure, bagsak ka, ulit ka, or tanggal ka sa eskwelahan. Dito, failure is an option. If you fail, try again. So, if you don't like it, you don't actually succeed, go ahead, do another thing. And find out what exactly will actually make you happy. And this is where this particular thing that I am teaching on self-awareness and self-mastery is important to learn. Kasi, kung hindi mo kilala sarili mo, wala rin direction. Pero kung kilala mo ang sarili mo, kilala mo ang mga, alam mo kung ang gusto mo, so, mananavigate mo ang sarili mo through the internet. And you will be able to make use, ha? good use of technology. And that is exactly what we need, we need to learn now from from these times, what's happening now. Technology is there already for our use. Make it 
applicable and might make it be useful especially to young young people ako ito na kung online online sige all right because they will be at home with it eh. ang mga bata they will be at home with gadgets sabi mo ay wala gadget eh bakit eh kung anti tuition fee ka magkano gagastos mo sa tuition fee Oh, di ba gagastos ka rin? Hindi gumastos, gumastos ka rin sa gadget na maganda para lang maibigay mo sa anak mo na maturoan mo na paano isearch yung mga, da, mga bagay na ako. Hindi yung games. Ha? Although even the video games ko are really helpful also because basically they know how to really, uh, 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 I would say, navigate or strategize. Kaya lang you have to round choose. Kasi marami sa mga video games that, that are kind of violent. And somehow, if you... Ito nga eh, man, Many of our uh, video games really program us to kill. Ah, di ba? Yan yung kwan eh. Yung, yung, ganun ang mga kwan. Patayan eh sa video games eh. That's why nga, many of those who have been doing these rampages na out of the blue, bigla na lang dadalhin yung machine gun ng tatay nila, pupunta sa isang mall, biglang mga bigla na lang papatay ko sino-sino. Eh, baby, na-program ka kasi na hindi tama ang kanilang kwan. But if we will guide them properly, this, this, this technology can be put into good use. And this is second nature already for young kids. Technology will always be part of them. You cannot do away with that. Huwag mo sabihin na kailangan, and of course, face-to-face teaching, okay yan. We are social animals in terms of, well, we need practically people to be with us. We have to be comfortable with some people as well, no? Of course, not everyone, because I mean, it's not everyone that we can really be with always. But at least, you know, that's why that skill, I, uh, that intelligence, the long intelligence ang kailangan ituro ng maayos. Intrapersonal, knowing ourselves, and interpersonal, how kung paano kong makihalubilo sa ibang tao. Yun yung importante yung matutunan. So, yun ang mga kailangan nating maintindihan. And, ano pa, uh, yun nga, in, being uh, enthusiastic about things, inquis- inquisitive, o yun, being inquisitive, being curious about things, yun ang dapat na develop natin sa mga bata. Ha? Eh. Ah? Ayun yung isang bagay na nawala eh. Kasi, kumbaga, we destroyed their love for learning. Kasi we dictated to them what they should actually learn. Tulad nga nung sabi nga ni, ni Alexa kanina, her parents niya, gusto siyang gawing doktor, sabi nga ayaw niya. So, he, she news na ibang bagay. So, good. Pero, yung iba, walang choice. Kung hindi sumunod, wala. Ano nangyari sa buhay nila? Because they just followed exactly what other people wanted them to do. And they lost interest in life. And so, tumanda, hindi nila alam kung ano yung gusto nila. Hindi nila alam kung ano yung magpapasaya sa kanila. And somehow, this thing never really made them happy. Nilawa nila ng trabaho made them really regretful at the latter part of their life na kung saan na sinabi nila na sana ginawa ko ito nung bata ako. Sana mas marami akong ginawang mga kalokohan. Kaya ako, nagsawa ako talaga sa pagkabinata. <laughs> sa bagay binata pa ako ngayon. <laughs> talaga sabihin, I really enjoyed my life to the fullest. Hindi pwede sasabihin mo na hintayin mo mag-retire ka doon ka pala mag-enjoy. Ako talaga, I went through all those things that I could enjoy and I really enjoyed every moment of my life. Kaya hindi ako nagsisisi sa takmo ng buhay ko. So, yeah. Alright, so with that, I'd like to say thank you very much to all those who had attended our class for today. Ang sabi ko, itong ginagawa ko ngayon lagi, pahapyaw ito kasi we're not really still in that mainstream class of uh, the Kamalayan Learning Alternative uh, Success System or ito sa ating school na Uh, Kamalayan Lifelong Learning Center, no? Wala pa tayo talaga. Uh, these are just kumbaga, promotional things that I'm doing at what I will really be teaching. And so, 
you know, somehow, uh, I, I'm sure many of you will be interested already. So I would announce from time to time the other subjects that I will really be offering. Ito talaga seryoso hanto. Hindi ito yung kung kaya ko lang iisipin ituro. There will be schedules. There will be commitments made na sasabihin nyo you would like to now really enroll in this. So it's really a school. And somehow a lot of people now are really helping me out in terms of uh, doing this thing na kailangan it will really work. Uh, this is not something na sasabihin natin wishful thinking lang. This is now needed in this particular at this particular time. As a matter of fact, sabi ko, if you're not going back to school, maybe my school is more interesting for you. Why not? I will not shortchange you. You will learn exactly everything you need to learn from, from my school. So with that, I'd like to say thank you to all of those who had been part of this um, Kamalayan class today. And uh, magandang, magandang... Uh, I would say, kasi mahirap magsabi ng time eh, kasi iba ibang uh, time zones tayo kung sa ibang mundo, I mean sa ibang parts of the world. No? So I would just like to say thank you and magandang kamalayan sa inyong lahat.